In this unit circle survival guide, we'll find the exact value of sine of 225 degrees, and we'll use the SARC method. So here's the method, and just quickly running through this, the S stands for sketch the angle. Specifically, we'll sketch the terminal side. The A stands for ASTC, which helps us know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. R stands for reference triangle, so we'll find the reference angle and then the special right triangle and coordinates that go with that angle. And then the C stands for calculate, so we'll calculate our specific trig ratio. If you need any help with any of these basic skills, I'll post a link to that in the video description. Um, so feel free to go check out those videos as well. So now we'll find the sine of 225 degrees. So we first want to start by sketching the terminal side of this angle. So we know we start here at zero, we have 90 degrees of rotation, 180 degrees, 270, and then of course a full rotation is 360. So ours falls exactly halfway between 180 and 270. So here is the terminal side of 225 degrees. So now that we know where our terminal side is, it's in quadrant three, we can use ASTC to know if our sine of 225 is positive or negative. So think all students take classes and you work your way around starting in quadrant one, all trig functions are positive. In quadrant two, the S sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. We want quadrant three where tangent and cotangent are going to be positive. Well, since we're trying to find the sine, we know that it's going to be negative since only tangent and cotangent are positive. So we can go ahead and make a note of that. And I like to put a negative sign where I'm going to put my final answer just so I don't miss that. Okay, and of course the C in ASTC stands for cosine and secant positive in the fourth quadrant. All right, now we're ready for step three where we find our reference angle so that we can get the coordinates we should be working with. So a reference angle is just the amount of rotation from the terminal side of an angle to the x-axis. So here we rotated 225 degrees, so we just need to do 225 minus 180 to find out how much this reference angle is. So our reference angle will be 45 degrees, and that means we'll be getting our coordinates from our 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. Okay, and we don't have to worry about the negatives in the third quadrant because we already have decided that sine is going to be negative. So we're just looking at this triangle in the first quadrant, and its coordinates are the same value, square root of 2 over square root of 2. So that's both the x and the y. And now we're ready for our final step, where we calculate our trig ratio. So on the unit circle, the sine of an angle is just going to be the y-coordinate. So not a lot of calculation needed here. We can actually just look. Our y-coordinate is root 2 over 2. We already said in step two that it's negative. So the sine of 225 degrees is negative square root of two over two. Thanks for watching and don't forget, you can check out links in the video description if you need help with any of the basic skills or if you'd like to see some more worked examples of exact values.